How will the weekend be? Here's Kevin right now with the update. Hi there. Hey, Mike, how you doing? We're looking at well, some of the damage reports just really quick here show you what we were dealing with yesterday afternoon across the area. This is where Cherie's located up here, very close to Indian Lake between Bellefontaine and uh, Bellefontaine and Wapakoneta. And this again, the EF3 tornado up there, making it a severe tornado for those folks. And then, of course, the other one, at least most impactful to our viewing area down here in Carroll County, the Milton tornado showing up right there. There were many hail reports across the region yesterday yesterday too. Fortunately, we won't have to deal with any severe weather moving our way into the weekend. OK, we've got about a 20 to 25 degree temperature drop that has occurred, and that's going to well signal probably the bigger story for the end of the weekend. Now, you may have saw there in Cherie's live shot. She's up here north of Dayton in Columbus, where skies have cleared, and we're starting to get some breaks in the clouds, too, around the metro. So some of us may be lucky enough to get a few rays of sun here before it goes down this evening. But you see the trend. We're following the clearing of skies from north to south. That will set us up for a chilly night. Temperatures right now are generally around 50, although you're stuck in the 40s south of the river because clouds are clearing from north to south. So where you've had a little bit of sun today, at least temperatures are currently in the low to mid 50s. So sunshine returns this weekend and what overall looks like a nice weekend, but a chill is coming, especially for the end of the weekend. So right now, compared to 24 hours ago, this time yesterday, we were in the mid 70s. But now our winds have switched around to the north. It is going to turn cool tonight and eventually chilly out there. But, you know, for this time of the year, temperatures aren't falling dramatically. So, oh, by the time we get to the morning, we'll be down into the mid 30s to start out. So here's a look at future cast. The skies continue to clear. It's really going to be a pretty quiet weekend weather wise overall. Beautiful day tomorrow, just some passing clouds, a little breezy at times. And then tomorrow night, a dry cold front comes through, and this sets the stage for a cooler St. Patrick's Day. Although we'll get back into some sunshine, it will be breezy and cool on Sunday with temperatures right around 50, but with that breeze, it will feel cooler than that. And then even colder air sneaks in here Sunday night into Monday, in which temperatures on Monday may struggle to get out of the 30s for high. So a little reminder that it is still winter, just a little while longer for us. Chilly tonight, down to 35 by morning. Beautiful day tomorrow, mostly sunny. A little on the breezy side, we'll be in the mid 60s, but expect a pretty fast warm up from 30s in the morning to 50s by noon. Here's your seven day forecast. And here's how it's breaking down, down to 28 by Monday morning. So Sunday night, Monday morning, you can see what happens. It gets cold in a hurry and then pretty chilly there on Monday. And as we get a little more sunshine next week, temperatures will gradually begin to rebound and work their way closer to 60. All right, Kevin, thank you. The Bengals ringing the bell.